I love this app. It's called My Amazing Learning Library and it covers just a huge variety of subjects and a variety of different grade levels. So you can really and truly find something for almost anything you're covering in the social studies or history or science realm. You'll see here I'm on Middle Ages. That's one of the free, they call them cards, that comes with the free version. I'll just kind of lightly scroll through here. You can see they have a lot of different cards that you can purchase. So you can either choose to buy packs of them or you can just buy individual lessons if you're just going to use it on something very specific. I also want to show you up on the top right you'll see that there's a bunch of different options. You can choose nature, earth and universe, the world today, or the human body. So as I said before you can really cover a variety of subjects and materials with this one app. And once you do buy the packs they are yours to keep. So. It may be a little bit of an investment, but you'll be able to use them for years if it's an app you think you'd be interested in. So I'm going to go ahead and turn up the sound and then show you what the Middle Ages looks like since that's one of the free ones. The Middle Ages. A day in the Middle Ages. The sun has just risen. Everyone is already at work. So the app sets up the times period and then the fun thing is that pretty much anything on the screen you can tap on and learn more about. So it's a really nice app for students to use independently because it really forces them to use some of those independent exploration skills. So I'm going to, for an example, just tap on the word peasants with my finger. In the Middle Ages, almost everyone was a peasant. The peasants farmed in the Lord's land. So you can learn about each of the characters and each of the things on the screen and then if you want to take it to the next level, once you've explored the screen and have kind of seen everything that you want to see, you can tap these things up in the top right hand corner. Um, I'm going to tap the little thing that looks like a dice because that's going to kind of bring me into a quiz game. Let's play Guess Who. Find the character who would say this. Who would say, I return to my castle. So, once it asks a question, you can say, okay, who would return to their castle? Maybe a lord, and you can tap on the word lord. A lord. Who could say, It is time for praying. Let us return to the monastery. So obviously the answer to that is probably monks, but I'll just choose peasants to show you, show you what happens when you get an answer wrong. I'm tapping on it, but it won't work. You'll see that Monks is now highlighted to kind of show you the right one. A monk. So Who could say? Oh, it's just it a pretty heavy. fun app to use that students can really use independently, or you could even put it up on a projector, and I think it would be fun to use as a group as well.